And now I give the floor to the distinguished representative of Ghana. Mr. President, let me at the outset warmly welcome you on your election as president of the 72nd session of the UN General Assembly. We commend you for the able manner in which you have already begun to run and conduct the affairs of this assembly so far and assure you of our full support. My delegation, like many others, share the view that urgent steps must be taken by member states to enhance atrocity prevention and affirm the importance of the R2 principle in these efforts. Ghana is of the view that the R2P principle remains relevant, both as an expression of political commitment and as a blueprint for action to prevent and end genocide, war crimes, and crimes against humanity, and have time and again reiterated our support for the framework for implementation of the R2P based on the three equal and mutually reinforcing pillars of the principle. We do acknowledge, however, that some concerns have been raised on the concept and that we are not all on the same page. This is precisely why Ghana, together with Australia, have requested the inclusion of an agenda item on this session of the GA in order to exchange views on the R2P and the prevention of genocide, war crimes, ethnic cleansing, and crimes against humanity. We are aware of these differences and concerns, but rather than hinder us, let them hinder us from deliberating and confronting the challenges involved with the concept, we are of the view that they are justification for a dialogue in a format that allows for views to be recorded and taken on board. We strongly believe that sincere, transparent, and constructive dialogue will help us find more common ground. The General Assembly takes a central position in the United Nations as the main deliberative policy-making and representative organ of the UN. It provides a unique forum, not only for discussion of international issues, but also in the process of standard setting and codification of international law. The request made by Australia and Ghana in accordance with Rule 14 of the Rules of Procedure of the General Assembly for the inclusion of this item is in the very spirit and essence of our organization. Our intention in seeking this one-time opportunity for a formal thematic debate on the R2P is not to have a resolution adopted at the forthcoming session. It is more importantly to foster dialogue, help build consensus on this issue, and find more common ground in relation to how best to pre prevent genocide, war crimes, ethnic cleansing, and crimes against humanity. We wish to recall in this regard that the first report on R2P entitled Implementing the Responsibility to Protect was presented by the then UN Secretary General in 2009, and this report was considered in the GA's first and only debate on R2P later that year. In Resolution A slash RES slash 63 slash 308, the General Assembly took note of the Secretary General's report and its debate and decided to continue its consideration of the R2P. It has been eight years since without the General Assembly's formally considering the R2P on its agenda. While we acknowledge the annual informal interactive dialogue on R2P has an important role to play, we consider it important for the GA to fulfill the role that was foreseen for it in the 2005 World Summit Outcome Document and subsequent resolution, and this is a timely opportunity to do so. The Secretary General's 2017 report on the R2P, which signaled the principle as a key component of his preventive agenda, has underlined the need for a continuous, frank, and inclusive dialogue on R2P. The far-reaching recommendations included a call to member states to consider placing a specific item on the formal agenda of the General Assembly on prevention and R2P. Both the report 
and the interactive dialogue held on 6 September reaffirmed wide agreement on the need for the General Assembly to move beyond an informal interactive exchange of views on this important matter. In view of these reasons, we strongly encourage member states to vote for the inclusion of this item on the agenda of this session. I thank you, Mr. President. I thank the distinguished representative of Ghana.